Hello there, Saturday morning. I'm just harvesting uh, some veg for the weekend. We've got kohlrabi, potatoes, cabbages, spring cabbage in, and I'm just getting a few strawberries so we can have a nice sweet afterwards. They're coming pretty fast now, so we'll, we'll have to keep picking these, but we'll keep showing you what we get. As you can see, there's quite, uh, quite a few there ready, and they've uh, you can see they've got a bit of size on them. Still again there's a little bit of slug damage but when this amount it doesn't really matter. Um, this is what we finished up with, a nice kohlrabi. That actually came out of the boxes which is a bit better than what I've got down on the garden. Courgettes they're coming every day now so we pick those every day. We get that sort of amount every day. New potatoes, they're coming better now we're getting towards the middle of the rows and they really are coming well. Pure white and the skin's falling off look. They're absolutely beautiful. They taste very nice, they do. A couple of nice fresh spring cabbage. A little bit of slug damage on the outer leaves but that's that will be discarded anyway. And of course the strawberries. We, we picked those just now. It only took us, what, 20 minutes we'll be picking the same again perhaps a few more tomorrow they'll uh, they come very fast once they start you've got to keep up with those all it's really had is sunshine and water in good soil and that gives you some lovely food just look at that beautiful hello everyone we're down the bottom of the garden day with the fruit trees I'm just going to start my summer pruning of the fruit trees you summer prune so to get next year's fruit you winter prune to get the shape of the tree what we're going to do we're going to reduce the new growth if we just show you look this is all your new growth from this year it's all over the tree look it's everywhere now if you just left them on you'll finish up with a huge tree without a lot of fruit on it. Now, this tree is not very old anyway, it's, it's a pear tree, look, it is bearing a few pears. We've had the June drop, but these might still drop off yet. So I'll show you basically what I do. I go back to the where the old wood is, and then I go about inch and a half up and take that off, like that. Now that will produce spurs like you've got here and it's your spurs, the fruiting spurs that will bear your fruit you see so if you reduce them to there you'll, you'll get your next year's fruit on those. If you don't it'll just continue pushing energy up the branch. Quite a job but once you get into doing it you can do it quite quickly. So there again look, about an inch and a half to a to an outward facing and just take it off. See there's all last year, these won't make nothing now, look there. They need to be a bit bigger than that, but they'll be right. Again, about inch and a half. It's, don't be too exact, there's a classic thing here, look that, you can see the new growth on that one. That'll just continue growing and rarely we want fruit in bud, so let's go just there. But as you go round, once you get your eye into it, it's quite, quite simple. I'll do the apple tree in a moment, once you get a little bit done on the end, then I'll finish this later. This one, look, it's a bit of bare stem there, so give it... You can go up to three inches if you want on the... That one's alright. Here again, look. You see? It looks well pruned when you finish. So that's how you do pear. Now the next tree to it is a plum. No plums this year I'm afraid. The, the cold snap caught the plums. But I noticed there is some on one of the other trees so I'll show you that. It's really it's the same again. You can see all the, the old wood stops there. This is all the, obviously this year being a wet year we've got extra growth so we don't want it so we'll just go to that one look same again just 
there's classic look at that that's all new growth this year this is the uh the plum so you just go up to there can you see the leaf joint there look so that one like that Once you get your eye in, it doesn't take long at all, does it? These shoots are soft, so they can just be chopped up and put on the compost heap. Just above a node every time, so as you can see, I should finish this one later. I just want to show you some of the other apples. I just let me do this branch here so you can see the difference when it's done. Some people don't do it, but if you don't do it, you're not going to get fruit that you can get to. It'll just be one mad tree. Do you see? So just there, you can see how nice and compact the tree is getting. Now, when I do, when I go to the top, I'll probably take most of that top off because I don't want. If it ever does bear plums, I don't want to be right up there getting it. I want to keep everything under control if you like this tree is only in its second year it's not a very this is a mess here look we'll take that off anyway it's a case of controlling the tree control the tree so you can pick the fruit that's there's plenty of shoots coming out look to replace everything and that looks that little area there that we've done looks a lot better already doesn't it but i will go round the whole tree all of them Right, let's just show you the other plum tree quickly and then again it's the same age tree as the last one and it really is putting a lot of growth on if we didn't trim it back both in the summer and in the winter it would get out of and you'll never touch the fruit it's definitely a plum tree look because there are some can you see that <laughs> we've managed to get a plum or two on it not many more down here look it is trying but you can see how the right back here there's, there's nothing on last year's growth on it with them being only the second year I didn't prune them last year so I'll just prune again this one area so you can see how it's how it's done it's just a case of going around be patient to there look the more you do, the quicker you'll get at it. Now if you look here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's showing that's a sucker coming from the root. So what we'll do, we'll just clean that off and try, if we can, pull that off. Don't cut them off and cover that up. If you cut them off, it's like summer pruning. You'll get more and more coming through. It's quite a long job. You see that one there looks it'll just we've took the end so we'll just take that one as well. In the autumn I should give these a good mulch around the roots of any compost I've got left. I put them round and fork it in just to give them some feed for next spring so it's already in the ground waiting to go. It's starting to make the tree more compact now and the time you've been right round them you'll have a lot better balanced tree and you'll have more fruit next year for doing this way now the apples will go around and have a look at those I've taken what fruit it was bearing off it it doesn't need to bear fruit this year I'd soon it put its energy into producing some nice branches they'd be fine that'll make a decent tree for next year this is another maiden that we had uh, it's been really battered, it's had an aphid attack. I have sprayed it, there's no, you can see there's no aphid on it now. But it's put this, this branch here that it's not going to do any good. So I'm going to actually remove that totally, just to balance the tree up a bit. There you go. But same again, with it being a maiden, you can see how it's trying to fruit. Well, we don't want the fruit, so we'll take the fruit off. Don't be tempted to leave them on to think you could get some 
apple. I will spray them again, but they are clean. It was just an aphid attack in this corner. But the same again, if it... I'll show you that. Just grab the fruit rot and just snip them off. And then, come winter, I'll probably take these ends off on the winter prune. I'm not very happy with the shape of it. That's for a later day, not today. This is just a bit of summer pruning. Now, if you've got an old apple tree and it's absolutely loaded up with fruit, do take some fruit off. Lighten the crop and you'll get better apples. If you're doing it to cooking apples, wait until they're big enough to use and then thin the crop. There's quite a few apples on it actually. It's going to be a good berry when it gets going this one. Right, this is about the oldest tree we've got down here. It's about five years old now. Um, it's a Victoria plum. Because it's a little bit exposed down here, we don't get many plums on, but they have found one. That'll be it for this year. The cold snap that we had really did affect these down here but um the pruning is the summer prune is the same again look you can see the new growth on there look can you see that we'll go there same again all this new growth good stuff there's no new growth on that one so we won't take that now you will get odd late flowers on it look at that that they won't make plums now but but again, same again, go over the tree, trim it back, and then we'll get lots of nice little fruiting spares on it. This is that pear that we started. I've come round the other side so you can see that. On pears are notorious for getting this dye back. And I normally take it off by now, but I left it so I can summer prune and show you. Just, you must take this back. You can see, See that's, it's good at that end, but so even though it's summer, I'm going to take that right out. You should take them all back. Another one here, look. Take it back to the, the growth there. I think it's the weather that does it, I'm not sure. But here, summer prune this while we're here. There you go. And these dead ones, we'll just take them back. Take them back to new growth. Everything you see that don't look quite right. What I should do, come winter, I should reduce all these down. You can see I've reduced it once. I don't want pears 20 feet up the tree. It's, this is where I want the pears, on these. So when I prune these up, especially that one, that'll give me pears hopefully along the stem now next year and that's how you that's how you summer prune remember when you're summer pruning new growth don't cut into the old growth wait till the winter and then shape the tree this is summer pruning it produces fruit next year okay you can see they're absolutely beautiful berries and that's with, and we haven't had a lot of sunshine. And that's um, this five rows here. And um, we've only done two rows. I don't think we'll be able to pick many more. We won't be able to cope with them. We're suffering a, a little bit this year because when I planted them, and it, it's something that we all do, I put them too close together. I could have done with them another at least another foot apart so i'm thinking when i replant them i must give them a good three foot between the rows because this is this is very very difficult people cope with it all right and the beautiful plants but we'll have to remember to space them out a little bit so if you're putting strawberries in give them room but as you can see there's absolutely nothing wrong with the crop. The strawing's paying off, it's keeping them off the ground a little bit in this wet weather. And we're looking forward to nice puddings and strawberry jam. It's going to be a, a good good year for strawberries. Okay. Uh, while I was just picking the uh, strawberries, my wife says we could do with a boiling of peas if there's any ready. So I've had a quick look and 
I burst one open as you can see. We'll just have a taste. Mmm. And the taste has said beautiful. So we'll see if we can pick. Oh, they are nice. We'll have some more of those. Mmm. Excuse me talking while I'm eating. We'll definitely try and get a boiling peas off there. They are absolutely beautiful. A little bit of mint on that would be fantastic. Our own new potatoes and a bit of fresh spring cap. Oh my goodness me. Right, so, and, and this, our fresh strawberries and cream for pudding. Right, but up at the greenhouse now, um, these are the peas that we grow in pots. So just to show that you can actually grow peas and all your vegetables in these containers if you haven't got a garden. These are all nice and ready look. They were compulled. Let me pop that down. There you go. Look. Loads ready. This was only off about three plants so if you really planted one up you'd get a really good crop off them. They just started coming so we'll just take the ones that are ready. That one, I think that will do those, you know. Perhaps that one. As you can see, uh, we've definitely got a boil in it. Okay, so we'll take these into the house. I'll get on with the next job. Okay. While the sun's shining, it's Wimbledon week, so expect rain. Hello there. Friday again. I'm just uh, pricking out the next batch of lettuce. As soon as I get this pricked out, I shall set again. So there's continuity on the on the lettuce plants. So we've always got a lettuce until the end of the season. Uh, I've reset the pumpkins. They're very, very late, but we might just get an odd one for the granddaughter. Let's keep her fingers crossed on that. Put some lupins in. We're going to set them around this top garden where the chickens are because they don't seem to bother the lupins a bit. So we'll put some lupins in. At least we'll get some colour in the beds. Mm -hmm. Everything we seem to put in, they, they take down to ground level. But lupins they didn't take, so we'll we'll do that. I'll give these water in as soon as I, I finish the. Uh, finished talking to you. The other thing I wanted to do as while I'm here is I'm going to because the grapevine's growing well now it's full of grapes uh, whether they make grapes or not we'll see but the thing is it's growing very very fast so nearly every day I have to come in and take off these side shoots so if I didn't take them off I take them off to about one bud if I didn't take them off, it would be huge. So I just go round and I have to follow it all the way along. <laughs> it's quite a job, but if you don't keep control of it, it will be away. I grow it because I like this canopy. I don't actually grow it for the grapes. If we get grapes, there'll be a bonus for us. But as you can see, it's quite a job to keep Checking these shoots off. It's a bit of a nuisance doing it though when it's raining because if you touch them you get a shower on top of you. But the grapevine's doing well. There's, well, we'll see on the grapevine, but it's lovely to have a nice canopy. There's two more there, hang on. We'll get those two while we? They seem to do this more or less in a day. They can, if you didn't take them off, you can imagine what it'd be like in here. So that's that done. Uh, it's July today, Friday again, it's the week's flown by. Now our American friends are celebrating 4th of July next week. So I wish you all a happy 4th of July and have a nice day. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Oh, just before we go though, next week we're doing the, the garden walk from one end to the other so we can see what we've done and now we need to plan what we're going to do. Remember a lot of these crops will be gone in the autumn so we need to plan a little bit to get the autumn crops in 
so there's a little bit of continuity till the weather shuts the garden down and then there'll be the main planning for next year so that'll be it for this week as i say happy 4th of july over there and i'll see you next week bye now <laughs>